talking about what information we have regarding cancer and how that applies to different ethnic groups or people of different ancestry. Because sometimes people don't think that they might be in a high-risk group in terms of ancestry, but they may be. And knowing that will make a difference and help their doctors be able to do things differently for them. People are of Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. We know that they have a 1 in 40 chance of carrying a mutation, especially in BRCA1 and BRCA2. And we know the general population is 1 in 400. We know women of Bahamian ancestry, or let's just say people of Bahamian ancestry. We know specific mutations that are present in that group. We also know about Colombian. A lot of people don't talk about the Colombian mutations. So knowing that will help us be able to help our patients better. First thing, talk to your doctor. Talk to your family members. Because if you talk to your doctor about having the testing and you don't have any information about your family history, they don't know what tests to do. Because everybody thinks of BRCA1 and BRCA2 if there's breast cancer. But there's so many other genes that could be involved. So knowing a good family history will be able to help us to identify what gene might be the cause. Or if there is a gene mutation. So patients come in, we talk about the family history, we draw up a family tree, and that family tree is going to help us to decide whether or not, first of all, the patient meets criteria. Because it's not always that the patient who's in front of me is the person who's the best to test. The best person to test is always the one who has the cancer. Because now we're trying to determine why that person developed cancer to use that information to help the unaffected family members know their risk. So we talk about the family history. We look for something called hereditary susceptibility, which is just what's going on in from one generation to another. Can we see a pattern on one side of the family versus another, or is there a pattern on both? And we sit, talk about the testing. Just because we talk about the testing doesn't mean you have to have testing. It's knowing the information, making the, an informed decision, and then what are you going to do with the results? What would those results mean to you? How is it going to change everything for you and your family members? Because once we open that door, we open that door for everybody. So once we have the results, we meet, we talk about those results, and we put together a plan for the patient and the family members.